Testing and the trois. Okay, we're live. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. A huge welcome to you if you're new to the channel, and of course a big welcome back to all our regular viewers and awesome subscribers, because it's thanks to you that we continuously upload cool videos to this channel, and I just love you guys. So thank you for your support. Now today we're talking about new announcements because October 28th Facebook Connect is happening fairly soon. So let's just transition over to the screen and talk about this stuff. Uh, now, by the way, just in case you're not familiar, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel as this is a new podcast show coming very soon. We have already interviewed all the people from O-Shape, Carly and the Reaper Man, Walkabout, Mini Golf, Synth Riders, Samurai Slaughterhouse, Pixel Rips, VR Skater, from Pico, Your VR, Sucker Punch, and also people who worked on the Jean-Michel Jacques concert and so much more. So hit the bell notification after you subscribe so you don't miss all those videos which will upload to the video very soon. So on Twitter currently there is a new post trending uh, which was basically done by Mark Zuckerberg uh, leading to basically the October 28th Facebook Connect which is announcing some new products on FB Live at 10 a.m. PT. October 28th, guys. Any guesses? So, guys, do leave your comments below. Um, you know, what do you think they're going to announce? Leave comment below. What do you think they're going to announce? Now, we made another video. If we go back to, if we just transition over very quickly and we go to our YouTube channel. Now, we made several videos. Um, that basically one of them is called uh, sell your Oculus Quest 2 soon, here's why. And also don't buy, save your money, don't buy the Oculus Quest 2 128 gigabyte yet. Because of course uh, these were actually announced, um, the, the 128 gigabyte just came out basically is an upgrade for those who are not familiar from the 64 gigabyte uh, which was basically ditched we don't know why what happened uh, facebook basically recalled a whole bunch of products because apparently there were some allergy um, issues with the phone with some people so they took all the products off all the shelves and then without telling anyone who had recently bought the 64 gigabyte they released the 128 gigabyte at the same exact price that the 64 gigabyte now of course it's not a huge deal but the fact is it is a better headset it has more memory and they didn't tell anyone and they didn't offer any refunds or any ways for people to uh basically redeem anything you know when it came out so a lot of people who bought the 64 gigabyte uh were a little bit like you guys that's not very cool right so now i personally feel in those videos that we made that it is not off the table although Unlikely, it is not off the table that Facebook will do it again and they may actually launch an Oculus Quest 2 Pro, I don't know, um, or an Oculus Quest 3 come Christmas. It's not off the table, guys. I'm really sorry, but Facebook is not the most of trustworthy companies whatsoever. Um, you know, if we transition over, there was an article released very recently by the Wall Street Journal, who's a very reputable publication, by the way, who conducted a study, a documentary um, about Facebook practices. And according to, to, to what they revealed, apparently Facebook actually contributed its algorithm to target teenagers to, to have more depression and also spread messaging about anti-vaccination and of course a whole bunch of other things we will talk about this in a separate video as well because i think it's pretty important that you know we educate you guys about the dangers of using a facebook product um and also there's been a lot of controversy about of course the new ray-ban glasses that came out with the new cameras apparently you know of course a lot of privacy issues a lot of things that could happen and the irish government uh you know is trying to impose some form of way to work with this so you know do subscribe to the channel as i mentioned because we will talk about all this in the future but coming back to today now obviously facebook also revealed very recently uh the introduction of horizon workrooms which basically is a collaborative uh tool that enables you to meet in vr conduct meetings and also the integrated zoom inside now honestly the technology that they used is not exactly you know uh, 
honestly, it's not cutting edge. I mean, there are other platforms out there. We've done a video about this on the YouTube channel, on the VR Essentials YouTube channel as well. So do go and check out that video about other people who have already been in the space for quite a long time and who have other technologies implemented that perhaps could help you even further. But nonetheless, it is something that they've been working on because of course, Facebook Horizon, if I just go to the, uh, let me just go to YouTube. So for those who are not familiar, uh, Facebook Horizon uh, trailer. So basically Facebook Horizon is a social networking platform uh, that basically, let me just make sure that I've transitioned over on the video. No, I didn't. Okay, so let me just transition over. There we go. So Facebook Horizon, for those who are not familiar, is basically a social media VR platform where they're trying to build this universe where people can all meet up. And basically it's a uh, meth for kids, all right? That's all that it's going to be. It's going to be a platform where basically Facebook can sp continuously spread their, their, their algorithm and all these kind of things to, sorry if you don't like the truth, guys, really sorry. I mean, we're, we're a pro-privacy channel and if you're not into pro-privacy then you're going to hear some things that perhaps you may not necessarily agree with or you may not feel you're potentially comfortable hearing okay but as far as we're concerned until Facebook change their strategy and the way they go about doing business and there's no more of all these controversies and government things coming out and all these kind of things that really is is so uh, I just don't like it you okay it's it's just my opinion but at the end of the day until all these things move away um, you know Facebook horizon is not going to be healthy for for VR it's it's really that simple and but you know it is something that they're working on it's something that you know potentially we did a video about this if I just type here uh, VR essentials we did a video about this uh, wow when was this? Well, a year ago we did a video about this and we also did another video. Uh, it was all about will Facebook Horizon uh, be able to compete? Well, here we go. This video, we released this video back in March 12, 2020. So more than a year ago, excuse me, unedited video. Um, more than a year ago, we released this video all about uh, Facebook Horizon and the potential competitors, um, you know, that, that basically, you know, uh, how, how exactly are they gonna compete with all the other people in the market? So this is a video you could go and check out as well that we released about a year plus ago, March, 2020, um, you know, that I think also talks about this. So we have been waiting for quite a long time about this thing. Is it something that they're going to release, um, you know, during Facebook Connect? Leave a comment, comment below. Let us know what you think they're going to be releasing. Any AAA games as well? Um, you know, of course, we know that uh, they're working uh, with the guys from Assassin's Creed and a whole bunch of other people. What are you excited about? What do you think they're going to be revealing? Do you think the Oculus Quest 3 is going to be released or Oculus Quest 2 will be released uh, during Christmas time? Or do you think that they'll announce only that they're going to be releasing something, a new HMD, but release it in May, let's say, of 2022? What do you think? Leave a comment below. And also, let's not forget, guys, uh, in other news about all the Facebook stuff, if we just transition over, is that Oculus uh, have recently uh, said that they will upgrade the Oculus Quest 3 to an OLED uh, display. Now, OLED display doesn't really mean much, to be honest with you. It just means that, of course, the quality will be better than LCD displays. Uh, it also means that the pixelation, um, the pixels that they're going to be using, basically will be sharper and also uh, the colors will be more contrasty so you won't have so much gray in the dark areas it'll be more dark more black and uh, also uh, all, all the chromatic aberration which is basically the coloring that spills over and also the sharpness of objects that you look at inside of virtual reality will be crisper so a bit like the HP Reverb G2 if you already have an HP Reverb G2 you kind of know what I'm talking about uh, because the graphics there are very sharp the dark is very dark um, you know so it's it's pretty good on that so it will definitely improve things and also foveated rendering is something else that potentially perhaps 
could be on the Oculus Quest 3. Who knows? It is something that, you know, is in the works in the pipeline on a lot of different uh, VR headset manufacturers, where basically what it means is if you look at something, like I look at you, then you will be sharp. But if I look on the side, then you become blurry. That's basically what, what it kind of means. So guys, very excited. Things are coming soon. What are you excited about? You know, let us know in the comment below. Don't forget that you do need a Facebook account to run the Oculus Quest 2. And by the way, if you are an avid subscriber to the channel, you do know that recently we released another video. Uh, let me just transition over, which was we are looking for collaborators on a new VR app uh, that we are developing at the very moment, which is basically a racket fitness rhythm game and in, in set in different times where you can get to travel in different times. So it's pretty awesome. I just want to show you guys that we have since this video uh, actually Okay, I hope I hope the computer doesn't crash. But since this video, we have actually created uh, more things. So first of all, uh, the lighting has actually been changed. Let me just change the camera so you can actually see things a bit better. Let me just, there we go. Then let me bring the camera up. There we go. So we changed the lighting in the scene, as you can see. So if you go and check the other video, uh, you'll notice that you know we've made it much more cinematic, uh, the Egyptian world. And also we've added uh, some scoreboards. So now you can officially score. So let me just show you how that looks like very quickly. Let me just capture my racket. Here we go. Here it is. And then let me just shoot in the rackets. So the aim of the game is to shoot the ball in the gates. Okay, there we go. So if the ball doesn't go in the right gate, it will uh, light up red, of course. There are two gates, a green one and a red one, but because uh, we're not in VR right now. And if there's game over, then uh, everything will stop. So I just wanted to show you guys, we are looking for collaborators. So if you are a, uh, you know, if you want to be, if you want to, be a community manager, please reach out so you can grow the community. Uh, if you want to be a graphic designer, do the graphic design stuff. Please reach out. If you're a developer, you want to help on the game, please reach out. If you're a builder, you want to build the maps, please reach out. If there's anything you want to do, voice acting, music, so you could put your music in the game, please reach out. I will you will be provide I will provide because I'm doing all the developing, I'm doing all the coding. I'll provide you a co-creatorship title. You'll get shares of any money we make. We're gonna put this on Steam, on the App Lab, on SideQuest, everywhere. We're gonna do this for Pico, we're gonna do this for the Quest, we're gonna do this for PC VR. Guys, I'm gonna reach out to VCs, studios, try and seek try and seek funding. We can put it on Kickstarter, we can do a Patreon. Oof, I'm pumped. But now, time to thank you. Let's go to the VR Essentials um, YouTube channel comments. All right, uh, let me just transition over. Sorry about that, forgot to do that again. Uh, so let's just go to the comments of the channel. Let me just switch account. There we go, so I got my personal account. Um, so let's just go to the, okay, here we go, videos. And uh, so let's go to sell your quest soon and check out some of the comments that you guys have left. So Paradise K, hi guys. Hi Paradise, I hope you're doing well. I would not advise sending people to sell their quest. Just saying you never know what's around the corner. Well, you never know what's around the corner. New HMD could be announced at the FP Connect. Who knows? But thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate that. Eric R, according to history, there's always sample size one. Thank you very much for your comment. I appreciate that. Art for my eyes are looking more at the Lynx R1 than a new version of the Quest. Now, Lynx is another HMD that's coming out soon. I agree with you. However, it's been on the I don't know, they, they've taken, they're taking their time before they're reaching out. They're already one year late, I believe, but they are doing some strides. It is supposed to be at the same price as the Oculus Quest 2 and do much more. So let's see what they have to offer. Thank you for your comment. Uh, Ryan Melly, the Quest 2 is so inexpensive, I don't see the point to sell it. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Uh, the video was, was for people who want to make as much money or save as much money as possible before upgrading to the next Quest. By the way, um, just FYI. Uh, Tomio Ta... Tanuki, I have the original quest and haven't upgraded yet. Thank you very much, Shukane. What headset would you recommend for a developer that doesn't want to support Facebook? Well, uh, Pico. Although, you know, they have good games, but they're not in the West yet. Uh, or maybe, you know, something from HTC perhaps. Or just wait. Uh, don't sell your quest. Keep playing. Let's save the Oasis. Well, 
Thank you very much to Connect Phoenix. I agree to disagree with you. I believe that Facebook is not here to save the Oasis. Um, but you know, I, of course, if you have a quest, then good for you. Um, okay, so uh, Methos, Ohio. I don't understand why people think of Quest 3 is coming out. Maybe a Quest 3 Pro. Well, the only reason why, because I think this is because they did it with the 64 gigabyte. They put it on the back burner. They came out with the, six, the 128 gigabyte. They haven't told anybody. They came out with the Quest 2 one year and a bit after the Quest 1. They came out with the Quest 1 one year a bit after the Oculus Go. Um, you know, they're not exactly... They, they don't really care. They'll just come out with new stuff whenever they want. Also, they know uh, they've known consistently about the break of the uh, accessories yet they don't do anything to fix it it just keeps breaking so and plus all the other history in Facebook of all the other things that they they're uh, known for so I'm just saying they're not exactly the most uh, transparent of companies so don't put it off the table although unlikely it could come out at Christmas I don't think so but it could I'm just saying be cautious um, okay uh, Kibura greetings and thanks for your videos thank you very much Kibura I really appreciate that Midnight Rocker 43 um, I'll gladly sell or give away the quest. Sorry, give away the G2. Biggest piece of junk. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't have uh, good things with your G2. Um, I personally have no issue with it and I'm developing the VR app currently with the G2. So uh, it just goes to show how happy I personally am. All right, let's just uh, welcome some of the new subscribers to the channel. Because, you know, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. It takes a lot of effort. Honestly, it's not easy to subscribe to the channel. I know because I don't subscribe to a lot of channels too, uh, but I watch a lot of channels. So thank you so much for subscribing. We're nearly at 10,000 subscribers, guys. So please make sure you share the videos so more people get to see it. We can grow the community and I can do all these wonderful giveaways. Free HMD, free G2, free Pico, free this, free that, free keys to this, free keys to that. You know, the more we grow, the more I can give back to you. All right, so let's just uh, go to the uh, recent subscribers. Let's go by date. So I'd like to welcome Nathan, Gumao, uh, Stalmate Dizzy, Cool Kid DJs YT, Mark Lolly, Kiro Kudnesov, uh, Gazanfa Ali, VR Redrick, Walk and Fool. Hey, thanks for subscribing, buddy. Also, uh, Ivan Liao, Oz Oshri. Uh, Mal Dundes, because I recognize some of you guys on Twitter. Do make sure you go on our Twitter and follow us there as well. Um, because, of course, we post all our daily news every hour or every two, three hours. All our updates about the VR game we're developing at the moment and everything else on Twitter. So do follow us on Twitter at VR Essentials 1. Uh, number 1, the numerical 1. Not O-N-E. VR Essentials numerical 1. Um, if you're on Twitter. Okay, I'd also like to welcome uh, these guys. The gentlemen... The Korean guy here, I know that's Korean, I can tell by the the characters. Andy Cassiato, Midi Mehanui, uh, Charlie BMWR1, Ayman Mohamed, Carter Irvine, Fit Engineer, Simone Gagliazzo, and Brad Voles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. I really hit the like button. Let's smash, let's, let's. See you guys in another video. Love you guys. Thank you. See you guys later.